Hello and welcome back to Dunkirk. It's January, we need to do some business. Um, uh, and I say that because we are uh, actually performing above expectations, as you can see. We find ourselves in 10th place. Um, six points behind playoffs, but we have two games in hand, so we have a real chance there to fight for a playoff spot. So uh, I think we should invest in... Um, a couple of players maybe, uh, take a look at the squad and see what we can improve and maybe push for a playoff spot, um, even if we don't get promoted this year. Um, that will surely mean some good attendances and some uh, good reputation boosts, which will help for next year. So let's just take a quick look at the games since last time. So last time out, uh, we got beaten by... Boston United, yeah, I think that was the... Yeah, that was the last episode. So yeah, we are out of the FA Cup. So only a first round um, particip participation this year, but uh, I don't mind. Uh, we, we're, we're still in the FA Trophy. Uh, no, we are not. <laughs> we, we got beaten out by South Shields, who are in the same league as us. But the league itself is going pretty nice. <clears throat> we had a bit of a tough spell in uh, November with Draws against uh, Southport and Chester, one against AFC Rushton Diamonds in the trophies, FA Trophy, and uh, lost to Radcliffe. But then uh, December happened and beat South Shields, uh, beat Chorley, drew against Altrincham and Gloucester. Um, then South Shields uh, kicked us out of the cup and we retaliated by winning against Nuneaton Borough and Kettering Town. So a 14 point December, which is quite nice, which puts us in 10th place. So today we're playing, um, we are playing, uh, uh, we are playing uh, on Barrow at uh, their ground. Um, and we're gonna split this up um, because I'm probably gonna do some business in January. So I'm gonna come back for the Macclesfield game at the end of the Gen January transfer window. So Barrow first and then Macclesfield. So let's take a look at the squad then. So, improvements wise, um, again we've had trouble finding a good right back. I mean, uh, Junior Velasquez has been doing some good business for us, but yeah, as you can see his ratings aren't that good in compared to the rest of the squad uh, and compared to what how we are playing and I don't rate him, I don't really rate him that much. Uh, I love his physicals, other than that I'm not so impressed. Um, yes, so, uh, and he was originally designed to just be a rotational option, so uh, that is the main spot we need to improve. And I am not afraid to look at the strikers either. I am uh, fairly happy with all of our strikers in Young Tewok, Animan, Hughes, and Adamson. Uh, Adamson has told me now two times that he wants to uh, consider his options at the end of his contract. So this might be the window to get rid of him. Um, of the young uh, potential strikers, Adamson is the one with the least potential uh, compared to Sign User and Young Wok. And uh, both of these guys are just training as... Uh, yeah, they're training really well and performing as well. Uh, let's just fix this, fix this column, sir. There we go. Uh, so I might just... Put Adamson out for sale and replace him with a 4-5 star striker. That would be a good one, I think. Uh, Sign Hughes is actually our best striker now and our youngest. So, yeah, things change. So, we might do something about that. We sent Dylan Simon out on loan as well. So, uh, yeah. Right back and, stri and striker. That is our main goals. And, it, yeah, if we stumble upon a very good uh, playmaker, I can't say no. But... Let's get into the game against uh, uh, against uh, Barrow today. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually going to give Kapaklis a game today, um, and I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, I, th uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, we played Chris Ogre a bit on the uh, right wing wing back as well, just to, <clears throat> to do something else in some matches. But uh, yeah, I think that's it. So. Let's see how we can do it away against Barrow then. 
So I'm really enjoying life at Dunkirk at the moment. I think the finances are okay. They are doing their job. <clears throat> we have uh, managed to up- upgrade the training facilities and the youth facilities one time each, which is a huge up- improvement. And uh, we have some good players and some good prospects as well who are training well. So I think we're starting to get a good club culture here at Dunkirk. Um, so I think the next uh, club-wise goal, um, other than uh, getting promoted up the leagues and improving the squad and such, uh, is getting our own home. So we're currently at Coronation Park, uh, which we kind of inherited from... Uh, Oh, I can't remember the team, but uh, I think it was like Tamworth or something. Young Taywalk! Ah, he's an offside. Oh, that's horrible. Celebrated too early. Um, yeah, so when we get up the leagues, uh, I don't want to uh, get into some other team's stadium. I want us to build our own home. And I really hope we can do that in in, in terms of three or four years. That would be great. Uh, so, so we'll see how we fare then. But uh, for now, we will be content in upgrading youth and uh, training facilities as well. Ah, good attack by Animan there. I think of the three strikers out on the pitch now, I think Animan is the one who has scored the least, but he does provide a lot of key passes and assists. So I'm fairly content of keeping him in the center there. Uh, but I think all of these spots here are up for grabs if we get a new striker in. Oh, and it's a header onto the crossbar. That is uh, very lucky for us. <clears throat> and, and Oli Marshall, I must say, he has been magnificent this year. I think he is one of the best uh, goalkeepers we, we've had at the squad um, in comparison to the league. Uh, so he's done bits and he has uh, several performances uh, above a seven, as he has now, actually. So, and he's pretty young, so I'm very keen on keeping um, on uh, continuing his development at the club and keeping him as a first team uh, keeper while well, we can, uh, of course. Okay, so it's a bit of a uh, back and forth game. I'm gonna go cautious for a bit and encourage the boys a bit. Gotta encourage the boys. Um, I didn't see which place Barrow was in, but I think they are above us in the in the table. So a result here away against Barrow would be massive for us. Alman, back to Horton Paris. Young Tae Walk. Oh, good header. Good header. It's a corner actually. So Sion Hughes takes our corners. And good on ya. Brooks to Barlow. Hughes. And it's just outside. Okay, we've done a good account of ourselves so far this game. Um, we need to create a few more chances though to be comfortable here. Okay, so Sion Hughes again. Ooh, loses the ball to Scales. Ah, uh, that, that's unfortunate. I think our defense has been uh, magnificent this year as well. I think the formation we're playing now with the uh, three central defenders and the two wing backs. Ooh, and that's a unfortunate good chip by Scott and Reynolds there. And it's 1 0 uh, on <laughs> Barrow. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, so I was about to say that our defense has been solid this year. And. Uh, those are n not, those are um, usually uh, yeah yeah so the kind of goal you just just saw are usually not happening, and that was unfortunate for us. Yeah, so we've considered quite a uh, quite a small amount of goals this season, and I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to go positive for the start of the second half, but I'm going to drop the defensive line, and we're going to. Yeah, I'm going to be a bit disappointed at this. And let's... Hmm. Yeah, and again, I think our uh, right back isn't providing anything good for us. So I think he needs to be replaced or improved upon in January. So let's see if we can get anything out of this game.
Oops, uh, wrong button. Um, <clears throat> so let's see here. I'm still enjoying playing on uh, extended highlights, by the way. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you didn't didn't see, uh, I've changed the skin. Uh, we're now trying out the uh, the um, Zealand skin. Oh, and that's a very bad <laughs> shot by Animal. Yeah, I I have been using the uh, skin uh, for um, work the space skin uh, all season long, or uh, for, for the whole save really. Oh. Animan, you need to score those. That is bad. That is bad. I think we're going to sub him off soon. Um, oh, and it's an injury to Thompson here. Knee injury. Oh, that could be bad. So Thompson, you're, you're the ball-winning midfielder. So Justin Lee, you will come on for him. Uh, I'm going to wait for Animan then. Uh, they need to improve. Yeah, so I, I used to use the um, uh, work to space skin, which is um, amazing in itself. Um, I'm just going to try something new. I think the Zealand skin has something to offer as well. Uh, I, th I think it's, uh, the Zealand skin has a bit more information on the player and the uh, um, staff pages, which is uh, nice. Yeah, so uh, if you enjoy this new skin, or uh, rather have the old one, uh, please tell me in the comments. Oh, that's a good through ball to Yolante Wok. Can he get it inside? He does. Barlow. Oh, hits the post. Oh, almost trickles in. Okay, so... Uh, Adamant, you're off. And... Uh, do we put sign use up front there? Yes, we do. Let's, um, let's try to think about... The, uh, sign use there as our main striker. For a while. Oh, good save there. Okay, so we're, we're creating some chances now. I really enjoyed that. So let's see. I'm um, just going to put on run at defense. Lee with the corner. And it's uh, headed to another corner. No, that's a goal kick. Yeah. Uh. It's a very even game, to be fair. Uh, they just had a very good attacking move there to chip the ball uh, over our keeper hmm so I see that in this game in particular we are losing the ball quite a bit to uh, their defenders just by uh, our defenders hoofing the ball uh, up to our strikers and uh, they really can't get onto it so hmm I think this is where we get up to into a league that has some way better quality players that we need to consider. Uh, I think uh, the defense aren't making those uh, horrible um, <laughs> mistakes that they used to do down in tier 9 and 10. So we need to reconsider the tactical uh, part of things. Um, mainly the long balls, I think. So we could uh, take a look at that. But we are keeping the pressure on them, and I think we're going to play a bit more passive as well. I'm going to step up the defensive line here, and the uh, line of engagement as well, and get stuck in. A bit more pressing wouldn't hurt, I think. Let's go attacking as well, and do our last sub here. Um, so, who can make an impact? Cohen, Ogre, or Griffith? Uh, I think actually we need some attacking presence, so Griffith, you're on. And I think that's it. Yep. He has been playing a bit as well, just to get some experience under, under his belt. And uh, he's been doing okay. Uh, I mean, any of our uh, wingbacks uh, haven't been pr performing uh, excellent this year. I think, uh, I think our um, main guy at the, at the left back, uh, Horton Paris, is doing a bit, providing key passes and assists, but... He's not spectacular in any way, but maybe we don't need spectacular. But anyway, it's a 1-0 defeat against Barrow. A very even game, I would say. A very even game. Could go gone either way. Um, and it's a team that is placed well above us in the league, I think, as I saw. So I'm not too bothered by that. I am really happy with the performance, though. So can't fault the players for that. Yeah, yeah so they're actually fourth in the league. 
We're down to 11th now, and yeah, we need to keep up our good form if we are gonna charge for the playoffs. Okay, so, um, oh, how's the injury? Oh, eight to nine weeks, uh, and there goes our ball winning midfielder for the next two months. And he gets an extended contract uh, as a um, as a uh, reward for that. <laughs> okay, so I might go for a loanee replacement for Thompson here. Uh, that that might be the case. So I'm gonna come back for the games, game against Macclesfield, as I told you. And uh, that is uh, four games between. And let's look for a right wing back. If we find a star striker, of course, and a ball-winning midfielder on loan, I would think. So, be right back. And we're back. We've done exactly what we set out to do this transfer window. Uh, uh, yes, we just let's just get right into it. Um, striker, wing back, uh, loanee replacement for the injured Louis Thompson, and we've done all three. Uh, but first, we also sold Finomaro at a whooping £1,000 to Basingstoke. Um, yeah, he just complained about uh, game time and I actually promised him to give him more game time, but he didn't believe me. Um, so that is a cool new uh, mechanic that uh, was introduced into Football Manager this year. Um, so you kind of need to keep your promises to uh, gain trust from the players, which I find very cool actually. But he has left, and uh, yeah, we didn't use him much. Uh, how many games did he play? Ten games. Uh, yeah, half of them were were uh, from the bench. So, good luck to Finomara at Basingstoke. Uh, but we have signed Josh Keynes from Swindon Town on loan. Uh, not a direct replacement for um, Louis Thompson, but he's a good player nonetheless. Uh, he can fill in at both roles, both winning playmaker and uh, sorry ball winning midfielder and playmaker and yeah for half a season I think it's a good uh, signing and uh, he can even do a job when Thompson comes back in a few weeks uh, yeah he's played all right so far um, needs to get gelled with the team but that is a good signing uh, then this is a good one Jason Naismith on a free transfer and this guy you should know because he is a um, Scottish legend of a player, having played in Scotland almost all of his time at uh, the likes of St. Mirren, Ross County. It's, he's been at uh, Porsche as well, uh, Dundee, Hamilton. Yeah, so he's been all around Scotland and England. And now he is with us. So he is our new right wing back, um, which can also fill in that centre back, which is a good option when uh, Fino Mara left. So. Yeah, he's just here for the last half of the season. We are very overpaying him, but I think that yeah, we'll have to um, spend some money now to just get some uh, improvements on the right side. I think he, I think he'll do a job. He scored a goal already as well, so that is nice. And lastly, say hello to our star striker, uh, Darren <laughs> McGeehan, ex. Um, he is ex Liverpool Youth Academy, advanced forward, exactly what we wanted, and he is, has just turned 19 years old uh, last October. So, this is a youngster. And we signed him to a two year deal. Um, well, actually, uh, just one, uh, uh, well, uh, to the end of this season, but then he has a extension clause if he plays 10 games, which he probably will do. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a guy that we can put our money on for the future. He has already scored two goals in his first game. He gets into the right positions and I have high hopes for Darren McGain as a leading striker for us. Uh, we're not gonna force uh, our man, uh, where is he, Max Adamson out of the club. We're not gonna force him out, but we, uh, yeah, since he's, he's on so cheap wages, but we are gonna give, um, we are gonna give him the opportunity to look for another club uh, when the season ends. We actually played Levi Moore for a game as well, and he scored, so that is a good uh, reunion. Oh, oh what, a, what a striker Levi Moore has been for us. 90 goals in the league, over 125 games, and yeah, 51 goals total this season, 22, 
33. Yeah, he, he's just been a splendid player for us. Uh, we're gonna miss him. But um, let's just get into the game. Now we're playing Macclesfield today and they are third in the league and have one of our uh, previous players. David Heaton, uh, probably one of the, the players I regret getting rid, getting rid of the most. Uh, well, we didn't get rid of him because we had him on a non-contract and uh, Macclesfield just, uh, just uh, picked him up. And yeah, this guy is turning into a beast, so I really regret not tying him down to a contract. I remember that he wanted a lot of money, but I think he would have been worth it in the end. So that is unfortunate, but it will be nice to see him again. So, the team we're putting out there today is uh, Marshall, Hughes Brooks Cohen, Naismith, Lee Barlow, Houghton Paris, Young Day Walk, McGahan up front now, and Sion Hughes. I'm going to have uh, An Anaman as a sub, actually, because Anamson has been um, playing below expectations at the moment. Yeah. So I think that is it. Um, sure. So, um, yeah, I think the team has just started to gel really well. If we can keep a hold of most of these players next year, I would say we could really uh, charge for a, a, a um, playoff spot next season. Um, I think that would be a very good... Uh, we'll have a very, very good chance of that next season. But oh, I'm very excited to uh, develop some of these players. Uh, our finances are still very healthy, so I might want to ask for upgrading the youth facilities one more time, or the training facilities, I don't know. Anyway, if you didn't see my form there, um, we got defeated three games in a row, which was unfortunate. So we had a bad spell, but then we've uh, won the last two, so yeah, six points from the last five isn't great, but we've... Um, uh, kept hold of that ninth spot outside, just outside the playoffs. But today, if we can, can get the draw, I would be very satisfied because this is a tough game, a very tough game. I, th I think Macclesfield is one of the teams actually who come, who came up from the tier seven uh, a few years ago. But traditionally, I think Macclesfield is like a tier five, tier six team. So yeah, they've started to get back to their roots. So let's see if we can do something nice here. I'm going to actually drop off the defense a bit more uh, right away, I think. Yes, I think that's a good idea. I think that uh, it does look like they're playing a sort of a pressing system with one uh, single striker up top who can run through the defense. And there's a guy hitting and Woods is through and it's a shot on goal. Good save by Marshall. And they uh, attacked Exactly as I thought, and that, that, that's a good one. Uh, finally, I, I thought of something right for once. Oh, that is nice. Oh. oh, it's a bit early in the morning. Mm. Oh, uh, still, so I'm not entirely awake, but I think we can do a job nonetheless. It's a good thing it's not me playing. Ooh, headed just outside of the post there. What happened there? That is a... <laughs> that is a weird... Uh, own goal. I, I think it would have gone in uh, either way, but... Uh, just look at Houghton Paris there. Oh, it, it hadn't gone in if he hadn't touched it. Oh, Houghton Paris, what a flabbergast of a header he just did. That was horrible. Oh, I should just uh, record a reel just of that... Um, uh, on goal, that was horrible. Uh, totally getting FM today. <clears throat> but Young Tiawak is through, uh, blocked by the defender. I, I, I can't believe that. That is, uh, If that is the goal that will sink us. Oh, great header by Brooks. Posted into the hands of the keeper. <clears throat> So I don't think we're being dominated that uh, much. Uh, I th thought it would have been a bit more one-sided, but there he is, McCain. He, he just needs one touch and then it's a goal. It's Dunkirk 1, Macclesfield 1. And what a poacher finish by McGain there. 
First touch. Just past the keeper. Oh, great stuff there, great stuff. That puts us uh, level with Dunkirk. <clears throat> Sorry, with Macclesfield. Okay, so our guy Heaton with the ball. Uh, Pibus, green. Great cross, but defender gets onto it. Lock it just over the bar. Okay, so good first half, guys. Good first half. I must applaud that. Uh, oops. Um, yeah, you're doing well. Keep working hard to full time. I think that's a good instruction to do. And let's go balanced for now. I think we can afford a bit more of a pressing system. Just not notice that the camera is all way off there. Hang on. What is happening here? Yeah, I think that is a bit better. A bit more square. All right. Yeah, so, so I'm really enjoying this uh, now. And uh, thanks to uh, everyone who has been watching. Uh, I think the... I, I wasn't really planning to do a, 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 um, a, a YouTube save this year because uh, it takes... A bit of time, but I have uh, managed to, to do the time uh, to prioritize so that I can make a series. So I, I really appreciate everyone who has been watching and commenting and following uh, on Twitch as well, of course. But um, yeah, the, the, the series main platform is, of course, YouTube. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy our streams together as well, doing the summer transfer windows. I, If I had more time... Uh, in the dream world, if uh, when I when I just uh, work a yeah, small part time job or something, I would stream every day because I really like the engagement with you guys. Um, but uh, I'm really happy with my full time job as well, so I need to just prioritize. But if I can pull out two episodes a week, I'm happy, and I hope you are too. Um, if you have any suggestions for the uh, for the series, by the way. Um, or the channel, or uh, any other games you want me to play. Uh, please leave a like in the comments, and uh, yeah, I would really appreciate that. So I think we're going to sub off Brooks here, uh, just because he's not performing that well today. Sign use is off for Animan, and I'm going to wait on everyone else, I think. Let's go back to Cautious there, by the way. Ooh, good free kick by Kapaklis there. Just outside the post. And uh, actually, let's just pass into space. And I'm not going to go uh, attacking here. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm going to fight for the, for the one point here because I think Macclesfield is a very much better team than us. 10 minutes left. Let's do the last sub here. And. Uh, yeah, let's just sub off uh, Barlow here. We get some rest. Okay, so second half hasn't been that uh, eventful really, but uh, if, if that means a draw for us, home against Macclesfield, I'm very happy. Long pass, gets nowhere. Great tackle by Young Diwok there. Can I get it to Mac Cain? No. Mac Gain. Yeah, I think he will be a great striker for us. Holy, watch out. Don't get up to the second yellow. Great defensive header by Cohen. Cohen, by the way, is uh, the defender we have on loan from... I can't remember his parent club, but he has been amazing. So he is, an, he is a, another guy I would really like to have uh, uh, on my team permanently. Okay, so maybe one last chance there for uh, an, any of the teams. Uh, can we get the ball back? Holland. Through pass to Odo. Oh, that is dangerous. Oh, what a pluckage from Marshall. That is a that is a TV save. Great pluckage. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy with the team uh, this year. Although we aren't getting promoted automatically or uh, even getting in the playoffs maybe. I think the, the team just performs well. I, I like what I see from the team, and uh, yeah, I can't really complain. We, we only needed to do some small adjustments here and there. <laughs> what a blinging header from Cohen there. 
again, he, he does it two times in a row. Oh, what a game, what a f end to the game there. Yeah, I'm really happy with the team and uh, I'm really looking forward to what we can do uh, for the last half of the season. Whew, what a game. Yeah, so where, do, where does that put us and when do we come back for the next game? So let's see, that puts us, we're still in, we're still in ninth actually, so we are still uh, hugely in contention for a playoff fight here. Four points behind Chester, five behind Banbury, uh, and we just beat uh, Banbury 4-0 away actually, so that shows that we can compete in this area. Um, yeah, so, so the main uh, contenders for the promotion, automatic promotion here are in their own league, like uh, Darlington and uh, Gloucester. But outside of that, if we do well, we can fight for a good playoff spot there. But there are several teams there, all the way from uh, Boston in 13th and up to, yeah, probably up to Macclesfield there, who can do a job and um, actually get into the playoff spot. So we need to keep up our form here. But I think that is, that is it. I'm not going to sign any more players uh, until now. I'm very happy with the team. Let's just take a look at the calendar now. Yeah, so here, here you can absolutely see the defeats, and it's three uh, one nil defeats, which is even more annoying, actually. Um, yeah, I, I also tried a new, new tactic here, the control possession tactic that we were playing, but yeah, I still didn't manage to score. So yes, so our defense has been pretty well, uh, been playing pretty well in these games as well, but we didn't score. So these three games could have easily been turned into wins if we could score a couple of goals. But we beat Banbury, Boston, and now a draw against Macclesfield, and that tells me our form is good. And I'm really excited to get into February here. Uh, we're playing, uh, yeah, we, we are playing uh, Marsk, uh, with, who came up with us from tier seven. And we have the likes of Chester and South Shields. Yeah, so there's a lot of comp competitors around us here. So. I'm gonna skip that to the end of March now. I, th I think maybe the maybe the Chester game or something. I think we're gonna come back around here. I think um, around the youth intake that will be, which will be horrible this year. I think uh, yes. <laughs> so don't expect much from the youth intake this year. But that's it for the episode. Thanks to everyone who's been watching and following the series. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you. In the next episode, goodbye.